Hi, my name is Lee DeForth and I'm the city's comprehensive planner and I am excited to be able to share some great news with y'all today. Um, the city's comprehensive plan, Columbia Compass and Vision 2036, was recently awarded a South Carolina American Planning Association award for the outstanding planning project of the year um, for innovative use of technology. And so we are thrilled uh, to, to receive an honorable mention in this category and we are um, just really excited um, to see what Columbia Compass um, can continue to bring to the city of Columbia and the region. Just to, to a quick review of, of some of the reasons we think that um, SCAPA, South Carolina American Planning Association for short, um, went ahead and, and gave us this award or, or, or felt we were um, recognizable in this category was um, we, we really tested a lot of new technology during the planning process. So we were lucky to be able to work with the folks in the city's uh, public and media relations department to um, really expand our use of technology, um, even pre-COVID. I mean, now all these video chats and that sort of thing seem a little bit more normal, but when we kicked off the project in 2018, this was not part of our um, daily planning approach, right? I mean, we, this was 2018, 2020, and we were pretty much done with the, the public meeting process by the time um, that COVID came around. So um, we developed videos early on that we could share on social media, the city could share um, on their YouTube, and we made sure that those videos were captioned. And um, it is amazing the number of folks that really commented that that made, made a difference, whether it was because they were hearing impaired or because they um, just didn't want their their phone or their computer to start um, speaking at them loudly. And, and so that was great. Um, we also were um, really excited to be able to work with um, the team of Flock and Rally and Kate Maloney Creative um, to develop some really good branding and a, a very interactive and functional website for the project. So ColumbiaCompass.org, if you haven't checked it out, um, we're pretty proud of it. It's pretty phenomenal. It's easy to use and um, and we're able to continually update the content on there. And they also suggested that we work with uh, MailChimp to do some e-newsletters. So while you're checking out that website, if you haven't, um, feel free, please sign up for our Columbia Compass um, e-newsletter. We send those out probably monthly, but that's been a really great way for us to help folks stay engaged, whether it's on planning efforts um, that we're working on or that are um, related to the plan, whether it's implementation at this point. So we've been announcing some, some things that city departments and, and other uh, community organizations have been working on. We've also been able to get the word out on other community planning events so, or, or related to planning events. So, um, you know, the Central Midlands Council of Government recently was working on their uh, long range transportation plan. So that's something that we were able to share with folks that were subscribed that you might miss kind of in um, the hubbub of all the, of the news otherwise. Um, and, you know, we, we've also found that we've really dug into social media um, these past couple of years. And, and that's been a great way to, to reach folks, you know, just with a snippet here and there. Um, to try and keep folks engaged and ed educated about the plan, the recommendations, and how we're moving forward with implementation. So if you haven't had a chance, uh, please do follow us at Cola Compass at, on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and we're, we're pushing um, information out there as well. Um, but just, you know, we, we really enjoy the opportunity to um, kind of work outside the box. We had interactive online surveys that were online, but also available at public meetings um, with laptop kiosks for people to be able to take surveys where um, we had streaming videos with captions during public meetings. So folks um, didn't feel like if they missed the presentation, they, they couldn't just we see it so we could really spend that time getting to know folks and getting to know um, their concerns for Columbia so, um, and their hopes for Columbia. So I, I guess that's a little bit of a snapshot of um, what we've done or over the past several years to, to make sure that we were um, utilizing the technology we had at our disposal. And, and of course now we're using Zoom. We're um, <laughs> using it for public meetings. We're using it for boarding commission meetings. So um, we expect that with planning um, 
efforts going forward that technology will continue to be a huge part of how we reach people and um, we're just excited to, to have been recognized for our efforts thus far.